morning, Greg. This is the Dave Ross Show, early edition. Cindy Sheehan is back. Cindy Sheehan lost a son in Iraq in 2004 and was labeled a bush hater for camping outside his ranch. But Monday, Cindy Sheehan was arrested camping outside the Obama White House because she knows what he's going to do in Afghanistan. Everybody does. The defense secretary announced it on CNN. We are not leaving Afghanistan. Does that sound familiar? We're not leaving so long as I'm the president. That would be a huge mistake. So the only question is, what do we do differently while we're there? The New York Times, helpfully, listed some options proposed by 10 experts. We must pay Afghans to join the good guys, as we did in Iraq. We must spend 10 years creating a functioning local justice system. We must stop cooperating with corrupt government officials. We must send in experts to fix the corrupt tax system. We must not let the American public get tired of the war. We must win the support of the people of Pakistan, who think we're against them too. We must understand that the quickest way for a Muslim militia to get respect is to fight us even if they lose. And my favorite, we must prevent the rise of a new generation of anti-American suicide terrorists, terrorists whose main motivation is anger at the Americans who are there to prevent the rise of a new generation of suicide terrorists. So good luck, Mr. President. You may think you have a choice, but you can't do anything that looks like leaving. It would say we've abandoned our desire to change the conditions that create terror. It would give the terrorists a safe haven from which to launch attacks. Your only choice is how to stay. This is Dave Ross. Back at 9 with the Dave Ross Show on News Talk 97.3 Cairo FM.